I'm Linda. Glad to have you back. Today I just finished up a fall scene. Kind of a, has an October Halloween feel to it with the beautiful sunset, orange skies, a little dark path with reflections onto the leaves. I think you're really going to love doing this one. Pause and paint with me. So let's get started. The, here are the paints I used. Acrylic Thalo Blue for the background. Oils were Liquid Clear, Titanium White, Black, Thalo Blue, Van Dyke Brown, Burnt Sienna, Cad Yellow Deep Hue, Cad Yellow, and Red. Okay, start off with this painting. Uh, I've got a 16 by 20. And since there are some blues in the corner and along the sides, I made some clouds with acrylic phthalo blue. The reason why is because blue and yellow and orange make green. So that's why I wanted to put this on first, let it dry really good. And then when I put, I'll put liquid clear on it next. And then from there, I will start adding my oranges and my yellows. And so the blue won't touch it at all. It's perfectly dry and that's how I can preserve my blues. So I'm adding some cad yellow right in the center. That's where the sun is probably going to be the brightest right in there. So I'm just going to do a little X strokes, working my way all the way around, but I'm not going to go all to the bottom. I'm just going to just blend it outward. Little X's, just blend, blend, blend. So toward the top, I'm going to add some Cad Yellow Deep Hue. It's that orangey color. I'm just going to do some X's up there and blend into the yellow. Just blend down, mixing, mixing it in. And spreading it over to the left there, up into the blue a little bit. Just creating a nice, pretty October sky. And uh, I'm tapping in a little bit toward the bottom. Uh, it's going to look like maybe a, a tree line down there. And a little, little bit of that orangey color on the, the other side, just a little bit. Brushing it down across. I'm going to have a path down there at the bottom, so. And just a matter of blending it all in. And taking a nice uh, big two inch soft and just uh, going across. Now I'm taking some of that CAD uh, yellow deep hue, maybe a touch of red, not much. And I'm just going to angle across there, uh, it's going to be my path edge, or my tree line. I'm going to have some large trees right there, so. And just blending that in. And now I'm tapping the top of that orange and creating some little background trees way in the back in the distance and you, you'll pick up some of that orange you just put down there just creating some background trees and I'm back at the top adding a little more of that orange just a little bit and uh, trying to blend it in the clouds and over to the far right there that's going to be it's a background and 
Now I'm taking my finger with a little bit of titanium white, doing right below the center there, and brushing across. That's going to be the probably the lightest area there. Okay, so now I've added some uh, Van Dyke brown with a touch of black underneath that orange uh, tree line there, kind of creating a, a base color for some grassies and some fall colors. Uh, with a little bit of a path, which is a little, uh, you put a little bit of um, the cad yellow and white, and angle it toward the back there, and I added a little bit of greenery with my fan brush, just flicking up, same with uh, the dark browns there, just putting some base work down for, uh, for some more grass, and touches of yellow, and uh, the orange in uh, along the path there just to give it some base colors so yes I I've added some oranges and uh, groundwork it's all groundwork for uh, some more colors to be added I'm gonna be putting some big trees in there arced over All right, so I am putting a, my first tree in there, kind of arcing it up and over that little pathway. And that's Van Dyke Brown with a touch of black. Creating some little twigs and things on the bottom, but I'm right now I'm, I'm straightening out that tree a little bit. I want it to le be leaning, but uh, so there I'm adding some dead branches or some extra branches that are coming up from the base of that tree with my liner brush. Lots of liner work here with all these branches gnarly looking twisty branches off this tree twirling my brush as I go up and dipping my brush into some thinner here and there will help the flow of that paint creating some nice uh, sharp points there on the ends of those branches. Starting another a bigger tree on the on the left there. It's going to go all the way. I've got a liner. I'm just going to be etching some of these big trees out and then filling them in later. But I'm going to go all the way up. Same color, that Van Dyke Brown with a touch of black. Bringing in another part of that tree. Cause got the crotch of that tree there with a big trunk there going off to the right. I'm putting in another one now. I'll be filling in that big one in a little bit, but I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put in another tree here just to, to show you where it's going to go. Just kind of sketching these out. And another another tree there. Another pretty big one. Which is going to go all the way to the top. Yeah, this painting is a lot, a lot of little branches. So I'll be uh, kind of skipping forward here a little bit so it's not too boring. <laughs> but you'll get the idea.
just etching that out and putting a little smaller tree there on the right side there you see I've got I added a whole bunch of branches and uh, filled them all in filled the trees in taking a big old one inch round and dipped it in some uh, sap green a little bit of Van Dyke Brown just a darker color to put over some of those uh, branches and I'm adding some Cad Yellow Deep Hue now and I'm, I've got a little scruffy brush and I don't know it's, it's an older brush that I've used for uh, leaf work and it, it works pretty good just dabbing little little leaves and bringing some more foliage down the bottom little leaves down there and there the color is is bright it's fair that area is really bright so I'm gonna keep the orange on there maybe a touch of cad yellow just dotting that in down there and a little bit down on the path not a lot there because that is a darker area on below those tree trunks I want to keep that area fairly dark but the leaves uh, you know I've fallen it's fall so I'm going to have a lot of leaves on the ground there Just dotting in. And I've added a little bit of um, cad yellow in there with a touch of burnt sienna in that path. Adding some more branches in there with my liner. Just putting them in there, filling that area in. I put a little sap green and yellow in front of those trees there on the right, in the grass, and in the back, on the far right there, there's some bushes there. I'm just dotting in some more foliage with that big old round brush. Just filling it in. I'm putting in a little fence back there. Just an old 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 fence a couple little posts with a board across kind of gives it a little more character doesn't it And after that, I think I see, almost see a finished painting here. I really love doing this one. It was fairly simple, fast. If you'd like to see more of these, click the like button, follow me, share if you want. So until next time, happy painting, and God bless.